We could be on the brink of a breakthrough when it comes to identifying and treating cancer. In the UK, clinical trials are underway at London's Imperial College, analyzing a breathalyzer test that could catch and diagnose a variety of cancers, including gut, pancreas, and esophagus, at an early stage, which is the goal. So people who early cancer have non-specific symptoms. At this stage, this is when the best should be placed. When I say the patient has a definitive symptoms, like if somebody can't eat, that is too late. So we'd like to get it in a stage which is early enough to provide a curative treatment and early enough before the red flag symptoms. Doctors who are helping develop the tech say so far it's a quicker, cheaper way to test and about 90% effective. Professor George Hanna says the problem for most health systems is that they don't have the capacity to test everyone who needs it. So how does this work? A patient blows into the breathalyzer before a thermal disorder heats the sample in a gas chromatography oven to separate the compounds. Once that's done, scientists can analyze what volatile gases were in the patient's breath, and that's how they can measure different biomarkers for different types of cancers. Hannah says different tumors expel different gases, so they can be identified on a person's breath. Different organs, they have different background structure, and they have a different environment. The metabolite will depend on the type of the cancer and will depend on the environment of the cancer. And that's why they are different. The technology now allows us to pick up those compounds in a very, very low levels, a part per billions or part per trillions. It's like a drop in a swimming pool. Hannah has supervised a number of these types of trials with the breath test involving hundreds of patients. Now they're recruiting more than 25,000 patients for the new breath test trials, which will focus on seven gastrointestinal cancers. Next year, they will begin triple blind trials. The research is being funded in part by Pancreatic Cancer UK. If this breathalyzer is successful, the charity says it could save thousands of lives in Britain alone. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.